I'm Randall Honey Badger, and I approve of the following message. Ever since I was young, I've always been so grateful to have been born and raised in the greatest country in the world. Where one has so many rights that are protected by documents created by old guys back in the day. And speaking of old guys, it seems that this old guy, who's actually 158 years old, he's like, while I believe you, Anita Hill, I need you to describe Clarence Thomas's pubic hairs. Oh, how gross. Who wants a kissy kiss? Ooh, trying to get his kiss on and smelling these girls' hair. And then meanwhile, over there across town, everyone's going crazy for the Donald Trump game. That's right, Trump has a new game. Direct from Trump Towers, it seems that our president, number 45, is ready to play the game. And he's asking all of us to play the game. It is a wild and crazy game, isn't it? In fact, look, there's Omarosa laughing. Listen, ladies, people think I'm a bit nuts, but I'm not. You stay here, and after I'm done giving some interviews, I'll come back and grope you. Does that sound good? Great. Enjoy. A well-educated black. Puerto Rico. These are animals. Oh, look at my African-American over here. There is Kim hanging out with Putin. It's a crazy game, as I said. And it's a game that we all have gotten very used to. And it's driving a lot of folks, you know, a bit batty. But, as anyone with eyeballs can see, the Democrats are now kind of moderate Republicans. And Republicans have become off the spectrum. They're so far to the right. And Democrats are so far to the left. And what about the weather? What about wildlife? What about the other species that we share our planet with? That's what makes America one of the greatest countries in the world, is our ability and goddess-given talents to care for those who can't speak, who can't care for themselves, who have really weird eyeballs. You see, that's what makes an American an American. The ability to say, you know what, I have my rights. I have my liberties. I'm able to pursue my happiness. Therefore, I'll help you. You who were unable to have any of those things. Oh, look at this puppy. This puppy knows who to vote for. Folks, the sea levels are arising. And while we're helping to stage this coup, in Venezuela for more oil. Look at this. Frightening. Jeez. Look at this. Sea levels are rising everywhere and there are floods all over town. And look, there is a wall. You know, we can use drones. Lord knows Barack Obama used drones to kill folks. We can have drones with cameras. Hey, you. Put your hands up. You're an illegal. You're not welcome here. You see how easy that was? Nonetheless, and sadly, our country is too focused on helping the Zionist state control Israel and other Zionist forces and nations that are out there just trying to earn a buck and becoming so bigoted in the process. But what about the wolves? What about the meese? and the geese, and the ducks? What about the red fox? What about wildlife? What about children? What about veterans? What about ducks just trying to cross the street? The America I know was against Zionism. Let's get honey badgers all over the country Let's stand out like all those who stood up and stood out before us. Those who truly cared. Both parties do absolutely nothing. 
It's time to not give a shit and to just take what we want. The time is now. The time has come to believe in us. We can take back and do... Look, I'm petting a cheetah. We can do what we need to do. And we have to do what we have to do. Honey Badger 2020. It's the hot ticket. And quite frankly, it's the only ticket in town. Remember, just write in Honey Badger. Because who cares? And are you really going to vote for these guys? They're like 130 years old. Look in this video's description. Honey Badger 2020. Hey, look down below and you'll see some cool merch. Guess something, stupid.